Hey everybody, this is Know Your Mac on YouTube.com and today I'm going to be showing you how you can easily create a basic text intro perfect for displaying your username on YouTube.com or any other time that you need an intro. So to do this, I'll be using Live Type, which is right down here. It looks like this. And it comes with Final Cut Pro and Final Cut Express. So if you have that, great. If you don't, you could always use something like Adobe Flash. But this is probably the easiest because it allows you to just type in your text and go. So over on the right, under Inspector, I'm going to click on this little area here and type in anything. I'll type in No Your Mac. These boxes should appear. And if I zoom out, they're in this window with a nice shadow. In my timeline, I could drag it to increase how long it stays on my window. And I could also change effects. So over here, I'm going to change the size of my text to just inside that green box like that the tracking you could change as well you even put them right on top of each other the letting you could change which is the space in between two lines of text and you could go to style change some of this opacity Just like that. I could add a little glow and outline, which I would like to make a nice teal. Increase the weight of this. It kind of blends in with the glow. And I could even set an extrude depth. And now under effects I'm going to want to add some things over here like you can put it in counterclockwise and apply it and then in my timeline I could change where it appears for how long it appears I could go back up and go to objects and add some objects there or I can go back to effects and start adding some other stuff I'll go to fantasy for this one and I'll put in invent and I'll make sure invent is behind my other one. Just looks better that way. And now, lastly, we're going to want to put like an outro. So I'll put on walk the plank right here. Apply that. And that'll go at the end. Now, if I hit play, you'll see that. And if I go back to the beginning, you see the whole thing. Just like that. Now we can also do other things, such as we could add a movie to make in the background. We can go to Font Maker and make a font. We can even, up here, go into Fonts and change the font if we like. And we can apply them to multiple things. We can go to textures and start adding some textures. Put them in a new track. But you have to remember that that's going to be behind it if it's underneath.
just like that. And that could be my basic intro. Now I'm going to slide this little blue arrow over here to where everything ends. And I'm even going to slide this little blue thing to where my text ends. Like that. And there we go. Now I can go to File and Export, or I could save whichever one. Just go to Save As, instead of saving it. And if I want to really see my movie, I'm going to hit Command R, save it as Intro or whatever else. I'm going to save this on my desktop. Render everything. And this is just going to quickly render all 90 of my frames. There we go. And that's it. Now, it's also right here on my desktop. And I can open that in QuickTime Player right here. And I could view that as an MOV file. Now this is really great if you want to, like I said before, use it on a YouTube video because you could quickly display your username for your entire viewing audience to see. Now don't remember to check out the Know Your Mac website knowyourmap.webs.com and I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you subscribe. Thanks.